Welcome again to sit down with Father John on this wonderful feast of the Lady of the Rosary. You know, October is dedicated to the month of the Rosary because the, the intercession of praying to Mary the Rosary has brought many blessings to the Church, especially with the victor of Lepanto, where the Church was saved from the tremendous enemies of evil. Today, we have other evils in the world and we have the pandemic of the coronavirus 19. And it's important that we pray in the month of October that Our Lady will intercede, that we'll overcome this pandemic as soon as possible. October the 13th, the Knights of Columbus will bring to us the beautiful icon of Our Lady of Persecuted Christians. It will be a day of prayer in St. Anne, starting with the 8 o'clock Mass with the icon, and from 8 o'clock to 7 o'clock, We'd have the rosary set at 12 noon, 3 and 6. And we'll finish with special mass at 7 o'clock. I will now hand you over to our two knights, Jerry and his companion. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity to bring to the people of St. Anne, Our Lady Help a Persecuted Christian Icon. On Tuesday, October 13th, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. The night will be presenting the icon at the 8 o'clock mass, and the icon will remain throughout the day for visitation. There will also be a rosary at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 6 o'clock, and to conclude with the special liturgy mass at 7 p.m. Here's Michael Hillard, our program director, and he's going to give you a short history of the Marian icon. Michael? Across the world, our fellow Christians face persecution for their faith in Jesus Christ. Spread devotion to Our Lady and pray for our brothers and sisters of faith who are at risk. As a Marian image is brought to, on pilgrimage through the jurisdiction, councils host the Our Lady of Help of Persecuted Icon for a prayer service at their parish. Thank you. Back to you, Jerry. Thank you, Michael. And we hope everyone will come and visit us sometime uh, to visit the Marian Icon uh, on October 13th between the hours of 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. For more information and more details in regards to the Marian Icon, please visit uh, the St. Anne website as well as the Facebook website. Father, thank you very much for the opportunity and back at you. Thank you, Micah and Jerry. Oh, I just remembered the 15th. San Giotino would be delighted. We're going to have bingo back. Bingo. And if you want to know what's happening in bingo on Thursday, the 15th, please go to our website at www.saintanruskin.org and click on Denise Lieberman and San Giotino for bingo and they will tell you everything that's happening with bingo now our parish council are really looking forward to tuesday the 20th of october here they're having a special outing for the ladies of the parish to have them do something from being locked down under this coronavirus 19 virus we're going to have a special mass followed by socialization with a brown bag supper in the courtyard if you want to register for this please go again to the website and click on the two parish council ladies ladies night out october the 20th the cutoff day for this is october the 14th the day before bingo returns now we're into the month of November. The 1st of November is the great feast of all saints, for we honor all the saints of the church, the saints the church knows and the saints the church does not know. And what is a saint? The definition of a saint is a saint who goes to heaven, who is living in the beatific vision. 
and we're us, our destination for all of us is to be saved. That's why we call it a community of saints. So we pray for all saints. And you may know saints in heaven that you don't know yet. Monday is the Feast of All Souls. That's where we pray for the souls who need purification before they can enter into heaven. And today we have special Masses for the dead. At 10 o'clock Mass, we have a special Mass. We pray for the dead of all the parishioners who died in St. Anne Parish last year. These are our parishioners who are buried from the parish and are in the Book of the Dead in the parish. And they are all listed in a special booklet. So we pray for them. And also we pray then for all of us and all of our loved ones who passed away. So we pray for them. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Now, November 3rd, important day in America, election day. It's important that we all vote. Women, men vote because we all had to sacrifice a lot to get the right to vote. So use your right to vote. Just to remind you that formation has started and it's now in full swing. If you still have children who need, if you still have children who need to be registered, register them as soon as possible because the, the longer the year goes on, then they will miss out on faith formation. Our, our the sacraments of faith formation of First Communion and Confirmation will be at the end of April and beginning of May of 2021. Now, if we bow our heads and we pray. Since it's the Feast of the Lady Rosary, we will pray to Mary, the Mother of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry, who banished to of Eve. To thee we set up our sighs, mourning weep in this valley of tears. Turn thou, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. The Prayer of the Rosary. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Till next week, we sit down with Father John. Be safe, be well, wash your hands, keep your distance, and wear your mask. Good day.